And now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. Yeah, and some of these Gulf uh, Coast areas of Florida are very prone to any type of any type of storms, even some heavy rainfall. What happens is you get these storms and it rotates here counterclockwise, rotates and pushes all that water inland. And so you get these uh, areas below sea level and, and that does happen. Here's one thing we're noticing though. Look at the eye wall starting to form here with this hurricane starting to take more of a north northwesterly jog here. So this might impact the path of this very typical. Look at this water is very warm. It's almost like bath water uh, here in the Gulf uh, of Mexico. And here's the current track. What we think is going to happen. I'm, I'm going to say I might want to push this a little bit further to the west, but looks like it'll make landfall anywhere between uh, right now cross city over towards the uh, uh, Panama City Beach area. That's a general area. So a lot of storm surge here in the Big Bend region, though, and and in through the Tampa Bay region down to Bradenton, Sarasota. So that's going to be a mess. It then moves on shore inland, stays a hurricane actually for some time, tropical storm over Atlanta. Then it kind of stalls out here into areas like Paducah, Kentucky, and also uh, into uh, Louisville as well. Unfortunately, not looking like it's going to be much of an impact for us besides maybe some cloud cover. We need the rain, no doubt about that. Here's the updated drought monitor map, folks, and look at starting to see some moderate drought in some of our areas. So uh, we got to watch this very closely. The fact is, though, over the next seven days, there is really nothing for organized precipitation in our forecast. Maybe a little bit out of some of these outer bands that move in from Helene. We'll track that on exact track here. The only impact really begins. Here we are at 11 a.m. Friday. We start to see cloud cover. It's going to be more of a cloudy day tomorrow with a northeasterly flow. So uh, not really expecting any impacts for football tomorrow. So should stay dry for that. But as we head into the weekend, maybe one or two outer bands making its way into our eastern counties. So Princeton, Kewanee, Sterling Rock Falls, you have the better chance of a spotty shower or two. But I don't see these being anything heavy, anything dropping, any uh, uh, types of uh, copious rainfall. We could use it, but just not going to be the case. 7 p.m. Saturday tries to bring another band in, but then this thing is going to kind of start to jog a little bit further to the east and push out of the region. And by Sunday, we'll see some sunshine return to our weather picture. Temperature wise today into the mid to upper 70s, low 80s across the region. Uh, tonight, clouds start making their way into our eastern counties, so temperatures not going to be too much of a fact, or, or at least cloud cover will be a factor in, in keeping those temperatures uh, pretty warm in comparison to our northwestern counties, where 51 is what will drop to in Dubuque, 59 in Moline. So kind of a split deal here with temperatures overnight tonight, but tomorrow once again into the mid to low 70s, dropping those temperatures a little bit as that cloud cover will keep that sunshine away. So it'll be a little bit of a uh, cooler day, but overall still very pleasant and on par with what we're supposed to be this time of year. Saturday mid to upper 70s likely little touch of humidity as Helene will drop some humid air, but nothing that uh, is going to be unbearable. That's the good news as we head into the long range though Tuesday. Look at that 69 degrees. So there is some fall like weather on the horizon. That's some good news today. Day, those lots of sunshine still uh, very early fall like feel with those uh, temperatures near 80 degrees beautiful day get out and enjoy it seven day forecast pretty pleasant and uh, as we head into highlight zone weather for tomorrow it's not going to be too bad here temperatures in the 70s with those clouds but again not expecting anything too significant temperatures going to kind of isolate or oscillate rather between the mid to upper 70s low 80s then once we get to tuesday a front moves through and we're back into the 60s how about that Ooh, that's, that's going to feel pretty chilly like weather yes well and you uh used to live in the sarasota yes, area indeed. so you're probably watching this hurricane a little closer yeah a lot of absolutely and, and that is an area that is so the tampa area sarasota to fort myers anytime there's a, a storm that comes off the coast like that it pulls a lot of water inland and a lot of those areas our low lying areas. The video we were seeing was from St. Armand Circle, an area that unfortunately is pretty prone to yeah, that. So, yeah, beautiful yes, area it too. Is, yeah. Thinking of all our friends and family. Absolutely. For sure. Well, next at noon, it's fairly common during rest.